Hey everybody, so recent developments with the oil filtration system, um, I'm not going to be using that because I didn't want to mess with the sizes, I just kind of, you know, got a little bit antsy, I got a little bit nervous about switching the sizes from one eighth feed to um, a quarter, and so when I tried to change it, I tried to just like go back to the store and get like the one eighth size hose, they said, well we can't sell it to you because we don't actually even stock it, so I guess they don't, you know, have it, so... The guy from the forum is gonna he's gonna mail me the the, the original stock uh, oil filter base which goes right here um, so I'm just gonna do that and just go with metal metal pipes and stuff if it's safer if it's safer to do something like that then I'm just gonna do it you know it's gonna take a little bit longer to do the break in but that'll be okay whatever right um oh I also figured out that um, I was wrong with um, getting a top dead center down here I was wrong about that um, I did have it pretty close though but when I was doing it a second time just to check I actually like could look in there and I could actually see the the, the piston rise to top dead center with my eyes so I was like holy smokes right and um, it was right here right somebody from the forum told me like top dead center is on this mark and then there's three and then five and then eight and then ten but I guess your balancer doesn't have the eight and so that's three that's five so that's five degrees before top dead center right you know I, I watched the piston rise up linger for a moment and then start going back down and so I was like wow that's top dead center and so I reversed it a little little you know reversed it because the engine spins this way right so it spins this way so I reversed it so it went back down so this is apparently five degrees before top dead center right I also got the the rotor still lined up to send the first spark to the first cylinder spark plug it's all good to go but so i'm gonna have to get some bondo because i drilled six holes into that that firewall there to put that there and i'm not going to use it so i'm gonna have to bondo it up which kind of sucks but that's okay um somebody from the forum a new guy you know he was talking to me about um he was talking to me about how uh he 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 was like hey i noticed you you make your videos and um you know, it's been a big help for me, like, help me out and stuff, you know, because I also have a Rambler, right? And so, uh, I think that's pretty, pretty cool, you know, but I just wanted to talk about a couple of different things that were, like, pretty big question marks, right? Like, I had no idea what some of these things were. I had, like, no idea what that was, right? That thing right there, right? It's a piece of metal, like, some of it's long, like, it looks like that. It's a tiny hole in the bottom, big hole in the top, and it's got a bend in it. That's exactly where that goes, right? And its purpose, its purpose is to hold the spring. It's to hold, not, not this big one that's right there, but those smaller ones, right? That pur the purpose of that thing is for the spring at the edge of the, edge of the, uh, the, the clutch fork that you can just barely see because of all the crap that's in the way. But there, there it is. That's the end of the clutch fork. That's the pin or the, the little rod thing that's connected to all, all the end of the linkage of the, the clutch pedal linkage. And that's where that ends, right? And then the, the clutch fork is depressing the, uh, the, 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 the release bearing and etc. Right? But, uh, yeah, putting, putting, uh, the, the, end, the edge of the, uh, the, the end of the, 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 the spring there. You know, like, at the end of that right there, like, that is what keeps tension on the, the clutch fork inside the transmission bell house. And if you don't have it secured with a pin on that thing, okay, right, stay the hell away from this whole entire area. You know, kind of like, you know, the, the blonde girl at the, the corner store that you don't want to run into. Just stay away from that whole area because if you knock that thing off when it's, you know, like... You know, like this, like when you got your engine and stuff like that connected to your transmission bell house, you're going to have a hell of a time getting back in there to put on that clutch fork after it gets knocked off when the spring isn't holding it on, right? It's, it's, it's what's called a huge pain in the ass. I don't know if you would actually have to take off all this stuff and then take out your whole entire engine just to put that clutch fork back on that pivot point. But um, I definitely am not going to find out. So I'm going to be real careful and not touch it, but yeah. Definitely make sure that that is secured onto the edge of that thing right there. It's not 
secured right now. I know I'm kind of saying don't do that when I don't do that, but it's secured onto this other thing, and onto another pin down there as a spring. I don't know why my brain keeps on wanting to call it a pin. And, uh, whatever. But it's being held on. Right, I, did, I think I didn't, didn't put it on that thing there because I'm waiting to get like a, a new a new spring that's like nice and shiny. I tried to clean that up a little bit, but it still looks like crud. Whatever. Anyways. Um, yeah, another thing I wanted to talk about that I thought that I might like to share, which is like kind of an odd, interesting thing, is what goes right there. And everybody knows that that's where my generator used to be, right? And this thing over here, this thing right here, this little piece of metal, I was actually going to throw this away. I thought that it was just a piece of crap, and I didn't know what it was for. But um, yeah, this is actually like a really important part of the, the mounting of the, the, the generator, right? Like, it's got two holes in the top, it's got two holes in each side, right? It's got two holes in each side, right? Right? And then the bolts, they go through those two holes. And then... <laughs> they go on like this. It goes on like this, right here. That's exactly where that goes. And then the generator gets mounted on that, right? So it's a good thing I didn't throw that away. And if you have a 1958 AMC Rambler and you don't really know what does what like I did that is a definite like a big tip for you right um yeah I was gonna say something else can't remember what it was maybe I'll remember if I go back over here oh yeah okay you notice how this this uh, stud right here is a little bit bigger than than all the other ones right that one right there, it's a little bit bigger than all the other ones, right? The other part of the, the generator is that thing right there. That's another thing I was just about to throw away. Well, I wasn't going to throw it away, but I was kind of like, well, what the hell would I need this for, right? But it actually goes on to the, the generator, just like you see. And then the, the, the bigger hole there, right, that goes on that stud. Right, that goes on that stud. And that is the other thing that holds the generator where it is, right? So those, those are two two really important tips that I can give anybody that's like, what does this do? I didn't have this car, but when it was completely assembled, how am I supposed to know what goes on where? Now, now, now you know. Um, <clears throat> I was going to put on the water pump today with the RTV red gasket, you know, because it, it says it's good for... For, for water pumps, right? I was going to do that. But then I was starting to think to myself, well, I was just about to put it on. I was starting to think to myself, should that area be like, should, should it have the paint scraped off it? Like, does it have to have the paint scraped off it before I put, you know, the, the, the gasket with a little bit of that, uh, you know, RTV gasket on there? Like, I don't know. So I'm going to back off. I'm going to wait until what the guys, wait and see what the guys say on the forum. Uh, so, that was kind of a bummer. Also, this stuff. If you see anything that looks like this, you know, like this stuff, this stuff, this stuff. This is all, this is all stuff that's pretty important. This is all for your, uh, your, your, uh, your, your, uh carburetor affiliated you know stuff you know I'll take this piece back there and I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate but, all right so all right at that spot right there there's two little screws and Can't believe the, the camera is propped up and the 
the, the, the flashlight thing is just sitting right where it needed to be. Jeez, right? Also, another thing. If you're kind of looking at stuff and you don't really know how it goes together, you know, you kind of think to yourself, hey, what does this do? Like, should this go with this? Advice I have. is to carefully look at things, you know, to carefully look at things, right, because if you see, if you see, right, like, that it's got, you know, like, a little bit of crud on it, but if you just kind of, you know, blow it away a little bit, really gently, but just kind of leave some of the stuff that's on there, on there, right, you might be able to see some clues, right, like, Earlier today, I found some clues. I, I cleaned it up a little bit. A little bit of sawdust that was on there, but not completely, right? So I left a bunch of crap on there, right? And I was able to find some clues, right? If anything else is directly connected to that, right? And I found out that this is connected to this, right? And I was like, hmm, how does this go together, right? If you can kind of see... That I, I, I saw that there was like kind of like a shape in the crud that matches the shape of this thing, right? It goes right there. You can't even see it, right? So that's another tip I have. So if you're kind of wondering how things go together, just just take 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 a look. Take 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 a take a look. You know, like because you can you'll be su surprised what, what what you can see if you just take a take a look, right? I mean. Taking things kind of slow, you know, figuring stuff out. It's a good way to figure stuff out, just taking it slow. Now, I, I, I haven't figured out how everything goes together, but, oh, but I have, have made a little bit of progress. Uh-oh. Oh, that's right. I had it on wrong. That's right. Right. It was that way. Right. Okay, so this is going to be this is going to be strongly affiliated with your carburetor stuff. If I can just get this on here before the time runs out on the camera, like it keeps on doing. Okay, so that goes on there. Something like something like that. 
right? Goes on there, something like that. You know, I haven't really figured out exactly what that thing does right there. I don't know why that's there, right? But I do know, right, that This is your, this is your gas pedal. This is connected to your gas pedal, right? And then this connects onto your gas pedal like this, right? And then this, this is connected up to your, your carb linkage somehow. It's very, very mechanical and it's gonna be super, super cool when it's all together and doing its job, if that ever happens. I don't really know if it's gonna, you know, work out like that with the new carb. But, um, this video is starting to really suck because it was dark and I kind of left you guys sitting there for like a long time without really showing you anything while I was fumbling around. But, um, and it's dark and this flashlight sucks, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and do it another time i'm gonna i'm gonna shut this off <sighs> anyways but yeah yeah um yeah okay thanks a lot for watching my video and um yeah i'm gonna put all this stuff back uh together and um go inside make some dinner okay all right 1958 amc rambler super part 36 i think all right okay everybody thanks a lot for watching Bye-bye. Take care.